Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today on the desk we have Lemon RX's Satellite Diversity Receiver. They're nice enough to give you the satellite receiver. Tiny. Cable looks to be about, oh, we'll call it 8 inches or so. Giggity. And some Velcro sticky pad. Now this thing is $10.80. And as you can see, it's pretty damn small for comparison. Here's a Spectrum satellite, so it's actually a little bit smaller. About 2.7 grams. My scale showed it at 2 and 3, back and forth, so it's somewhere right in between the two. And it is DSMX and DSM2 capable, so pretty standard if you're using Spectrum guy, JR guy, Orange RX guy, whatever. It is 3.3 volt only, so no 5 volt like the rest of the receivers. And it does feature diversity. You can see here we've got about three to four inches off either side of antennas. So we're no longer the uh, fall behind guys behind f the first guy, not fry sky. There's no why I got lectured on that. And we can actually get decent signal out of these things. So carbon fiber frames, awesome. You know, no more short little spectrum antennas. But I'm gonna hook it up in one of my race builds and we'll see how it performs. Okay, so I have this receiver bound up with my Spectrum DX8, and it's currently plugged into the quad. So we're going to go into beta flight. You're going to make sure you have the right port open with the Serial RX selected. You're going to go to configuration, and then you're going to select Serial Based Receiver, Spec Sat, S Bus, Sum D, and I'm doing Spectrum 2048. And then we're going to go double check all my inputs. Now I have throttle, rudder, aileron, elevators, aux 1, aux 3, aux 4, and there's aux 2. So 8 channels, it's bound with 11 millisecond refresh rate, so it's a digital setting instead of analog servo setting. And you can see there's not a whole lot of jitter here, so it works well, it's hooked up, and I mean, it's 8 channel diversity receiver. So I'm going to go fly with it and thrash it and hopefully yeah, have some fun. It's kind of a hard build to show you, but there's the antennas popping out, and I mounted the satellite up underneath the flight controller in here. So. You can kind of sort of see it, but in the interest of saving space and low center of gravity, blah, 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 whatever. I mounted everything as low as I can. So the long antennas definitely came in handy to stick out the back. And actually, I clipped one already. Not quite sure how. As for performance, uh, I pushed them out to about 150 yards, 150, 100, 150 yards, no breakouts, breakouts, no breakups, no interference, no dropouts, nothing. Um, on beta flight, I tested it, and it did let me set a fail safe regularly, so... I mean, these work great. $10, it's way cheaper than the Spectrum versions. Even Spectrum's new serial telemetry one, whatever the hell, racing mini quad uh, receiver. So go check these out. I'll put the link down below. And uh, if you have any comments, drop them off. Questions, drop them off as well. And I'll contact you back as soon as I see it. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and tell your friends.